How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about KVM switches and how you can use it possibly to make your life a lot easier. Now I actually do have one here. It's from TestSmart and they were nice enough to send me it just to check it out and see how it works. So thanks guys, but this is not a sponsored video, but they did send me that product for free. So it'll be the one we feature in this video, but there are a ton of KVM switches out there. But what is a KVM switch? So let's go back to the basics. KVM stands for Keyboard Video Mouse. And what these switches allow you to do is basically have multiple PCs set up, or you could use a console potentially, and have one set of a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. So you don't have to constantly unplug and replug or download third-party software. You actually run all your video and all your inputs through this one KVM switch, and then from there it's a single button press, and you can switch your entire loadout to a different computer. Now you might be asking now, why would you ever want to do this? And here are the things that I thought of. So number one, people working from home. If you have two computers, a work computer and a home computer, which obviously you can't really put games and home media on your work computer typically, then you're going to want to have two separate machines, and with those machines, you don't want to have to be running multiple monitors and constantly unplugging and replugging stuff. So what you can do with a KVM switch is have both computers plugged into the switch at once, have your keyboard and your mouse and your monitors also plugged into the switch, and then with a flick of a button, or in this case you can use a remote, you can switch the entire setup from your personal setup to your work setup. All right guys, and we're set up here to show you how it works. We have a work laptop here which only has one HDMI port, so we're only going to end up using one of the monitors. Ideally, this would have multiple or we could get a splitter, but right now I don't have that. So we're gonna just show it with the monitor on the laptop and the monitor up there. And then we have the keyboard and the mouse right here, which will be the same two keyboard and mouse that we use for both computers. And you can see back there, we have my actual desktop computer, which is gonna be like our gaming machine if we're gonna work and game. So currently we are set here. You can see we are working, so I can drag this over. I can use it on this screen or that screen. And then if I ever want to take a break, let's say it's lunch break and I want to play a game or it's the end of the day in the work day and I want to hop on on my normal computer at home, you can simply grab the remote or click the little switch on the front here. Let's switch on over. You can see both monitors go black there for a second. We're going to switch over to the two HDMIs that are on my computer. And now using the same exact keyboard and mouse, I can now manipulate my computer from my desktop. And I can either have a YouTube video up, a game up, I could have a game live that was playing and I paused, and then I go back to my work computer. But again, you can just switch back, wait a couple seconds, and we'll be back to my work setup. And again, ideally I would have multiple outputs on my laptop, but this laptop only has one HDMI output. So in this case, without a dock, we're only gonna have one output. But if you had a desktop computer here, that'd be much, much easier and you could have all your outputs together. But everything hooks up to the KVM switch right here on the desk, and that way you don't have to touch any cables to reset up your computer. This could also be used, I thought of, in an editing scenario. So if you have a separate PC you edit on and a PC you game on, you could easily swap between those. Or if you have even just a mining rig you wanna check up on every now and then, or a home server that you need to access, quite frequently, this would be a good idea for you. So let's go through the setup and how to get it all connected. So you'll see on the back of these, they have a lot of ports and depending which one you get, this one is a dual monitor one. You can actually get others that do multiple monitors, like four monitors at a time or three, but this one we have here is just for two monitors. So we're gonna go through the setup for this. First, you'll see on the right, the most prominent ones, we have PC1 and PC2, and you'll see they both have two HDMI ports. So this will be both your normal outputs from your PC to the monitors will go to this KVM switch instead. And they also have a USB port there because it needs to connect to your computer to the KVM switch so everything can communicate properly. Across from that, you'll see it has the keyboard and mouse inputs there, as well as another USB 2.0, and you can put anything here, whether it's a printer or an external hard drive, anything you think you'll need for both computers, you can go ahead and use that USB as an extra port. Next up, you'll see we have the two display ports. These are both HDMI as well on this device, and those will be the two that go to the monitors. Now, these monitors will always be plugged into these two. You'll never have to touch them again. All that internal wiring is done for you, so simply by clicking a switch, you can route those two displays to either computer at a time. And after that, you'll see we have a headphone or a speaker port. So you can use that to actually plug in your speakers or your headset as well. So you don't even have to switch your audio. You can literally click a button and immediately be on your other computer. And lastly here, we just have a power port here because the KVM switch itself does need to have power in order to switch between the computers and use the logic that's on board in the KVM switch. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks again to TestSmart for sending me that product to check out. It was actually pretty fun and cool to look into because I'd never really dealt with KVM switches before, but hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. 
and I'll see you all in the next one.